Hi, I'm Sean White, a representative of Aquatech of California, and today I want to talk about the Aquatech Premium CO2 Regulator. It's perfect for many CO2 injection applications such as planted aquariums or saltwater calcium reactors. It's been shown that CO2 enrichment at two, three, or four times the natural concentration will promote plant growth. Furthermore, our CO2 regulator includes dual gauges in both PSI and kilograms per centimeter and the needle valve for fine-tuning the amount of CO2 injection to maintain the desired level of CO2 concentration to achieve optimal plant growth. Like all the Aquatech CO2 regulators, it has a cool touch, industrial solenoid design, as well as brass construction for long-lasting durability and dependability. Brass is the gold standard material to manufacture gas regulators and with good reason. Compared to aluminum, brass is stronger and more durable, making it resistant to friction, wear, and tear. This is very important since you're likely going to be removing and reinstalling your regulator many times as you replace or refill your CO2 tank. The brass construction minimizes damage to the connector's thread, which could lead to leakage. Brass has a lower thermal expansion and better heat conductivity than aluminum, and is therefore capable of enduring environmental temperature variations while providing better stability and consistency during operation. Finally, brass is highly corrosive resistant in high humidity environments, such as planted aquariums and saltwater calcium reactors, making it perfect for those applications. Let's talk about what comes in the box with your Aquatech Premium CO2 regulator, as well as how to install it and how to operate it. In the box, you'll find the regulator itself, an O-ring to be placed between the regulator and the CO2 tank to achieve a good seal, as well as the Aquatech bubble counter with integrated check valve. What's new about this regulator is the valve in the front, which is going to allow you to adjust the output working pressure allowing the regulator to be used with a variety of CO2 atomizers and diffusers. Let's talk about how to install it. First thing you're going to do is remove the nut on the front of the regulator like so. You're going to run your tubing through the nut. Tubing such as this can be bought on Aquatech's website. Place the tubing over the nipple. Move the nut up, screw it on. The regulator is threaded with CGA 320 threads, so it will be placed directly onto your CO2 tank. Put it on finger tight, then you can tighten it with your adjustable wrench. At this point, you take the free end of your hose and attach it to your Aquatech bubble counter with integrated check valve. Next, take your plug and plug it in, listening for a click, which is the valve on the solenoid valve actually opening. Next, you can open your CO2 tank slowly. You only need to give it a few turns, you don't need to open it all the way. You should see the pressure on the tank register on the left hand gauge. The output can then be adjusted using the needle valve on the side, and the output working pressure can be adjusted using the valve on the front. 